Hey YouTube! So here we are in December 2012. I can't believe that the year is almost over. It feels like it truly just began. Um, so much is happening right now. I just moved. Um, school is sort of finishing up. I just have a placement to do next semester, but um, majority of the schoolwork part is done. But anyways, I guess this is my um, November favorites. I only have a couple of things, so this shouldn't take very long. So the first are, let's see, um, a couple of weeks ago I went to the States to do some shopping. And these are available here in Canada as well. But uh, I bought these while I was there. It's a trio of the Cores, Cores, Cores. I don't know, it looks like Cores to me, whatever. Um, lip butters. There's this, this wild rose, and it's kind of a deep dark red, and it gives um, your lips a nice tint, and it smells like a rose. Can't get it back on. There's the pomegranate one, which is sort of a corally, oops, still have the plastic on that one, which is sort of like a corally oops, orange color, and it's really nice. And it doesn't really smell all that fruity, just kind of feminine and fresh. And then my very favorite one is the jasmine one, which is this one. It's kind of hard to tell. It's such a light. It's a pink top, like a really light pink with a, a white bottom. There you can, uh, you can sort of see it right there. The lighting is really off. But uh, and inside, it's this really pretty sort of neutral pink and it smells fabulous. I don't know if I didn't never knew what jasmine smelled like before but this stuff is wonderful and it gives your lips just the prettiest neutral tint ever. So I'm, I'm almost done some of my other favorite pot lip balms so I'm kind of excited to be using these this winter. Um, my second favorite I also got in the States. Uh, this one is not available in Canada though, at least to the best of my knowledge, not available where I live. Um, and I live in a pretty metropolitan type area. We have, you know, Sephora's and Walmart's and drugstores, things like that. But it's the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup um, Antioxidant Blend SPF 20. It's this guy right here. Really nice. Uh, I, my color is Natural Beige 60. It's really nice. Comes in a glass bottle. Just shake it up, put it on. The only thing that I don't really like is that the top is just kind of like a pour top. It doesn't have a pump or a squeeze top or anything like that, so sometimes it can be a little messy. But for the price that I paid for this, which I think it was something like $11 or something, um, it's it's really really nice. The color matches my skin tone really well. Um, it buffs into the skin really nicely. I use my Sigma brushes, my um, Kabuki Sigma brushes to buff it into my skin and it's just amazing. Stays all day, doesn't get all cakey and, and weird and gross, but it's really nice. And for a, a drugstore, I think I got this at Target, so maybe not a drugstore, but maybe you can find it in drugstores in the States. Um, for a drugstore caliber makeup, it's beyond, you know, what I paid for it. So really happy about that. Uh, third thing is actually a hairspray. It's the L'Oreal Paris El Net Satin Stronghold, the finest hairspray. There it is. I'm sure you've all seen this in the drugstore. It's, uh, I'd always wanted to try it, but it was kind of expensive. And, you know, usually I just buy whatever's on sale for hairspray. But I tried this because I got it at a um, like a warehouse type sale, so I got it for really cheap. And I'd always want to try it. So even though it said Stronghold, which is usually not the type of hairspray I buy, I got it anyway, and I love it. It is such a nice fine mist. It's amazing, and it doesn't it doesn't even though it says Stronghold, it doesn't make your hair sticky. You can't like run a br or you can run a brush through it. It's not like other hairsprays. Um, it's just it's really really nice and I think it's just because the mist is so fine that it really spreads over your hair but still gives you a really good hold especially when you do like or when I do curls and things 
My fourth item is for hair as well, and it's also something that uh, you can't get here in Canada, at least not where I live. Um, I also got this at Target. It's the Suave Dry Shampoo Spray. Here it is. Silver bottle with the yellow top. I love the, the way this stuff smells. I think it smells so good. Anyways, I've tried a lot of uh, dry shampoos, and I have been hearing about this. I I had been hearing about this one forever, and I wanted to try it because I heard that it was really great but really inexpensive, and that was correct. And I wish with all my heart that I had bought two instead of one. That was foolish, because I don't know when I'll be going back to the States again. But anyways, I love it. It smells so good. There are some other dry shampoos that have a really sort of powdery chemical smell that I really don't enjoy, and some that um, are a little bit too strong, like the Baptiste, if you get the, uh, like a, tr there's one that's a tropical scent. I really don't like that one. It's too strong. But this one is really nice, and even if you put on a little too much, it doesn't make your hair uh, really too textury and ungreasy. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's really nice and I really love this. And then my very last favorite is something that I've actually had for maybe five, five months, I guess. It's a NARS Trio. And I'm sorry, this was limited edition, so you can't get it anymore. But it's the Rematuel Trio. And I love holding these NARS um, compacts because they have that kind of... Uh, matte rubbery type of finish on them they just stay in your hands so well but anyways crack it open i have the little plastic thing in there still and it's three or here we go it's three really beautiful colors two of them are kind of hard to tell the difference on here but one of them is a sort of yeah it's like a matte kind of corally pink this is horrible. No. It really is a lot darker than how it shows up on camera. That's horrible. Anyways, the second one is a shimmery kind of champagne color. Oh, and that just looks white. That's wrong. And the other one is a shimmery silver color. I wonder if I put them on my hand if they'd show up better. Not likely. Nope, that pretty much sucks. Alright, I'll just hold that up again. That's a closer idea of what they look like, except these two here, this one right here, and this one right here, are really, really shimmery, but I guess it's hard to tell here. I need to get some better lights or something. Anyways, um, I have been wearing those almost every day this month. I don't know what it is, they're just like the perfect neutral. Um, yeah, I just love them. They just, I don't know, make my eyes really pop, like the color of them and the color of my hair and my skin tone. They're just, they're really beautiful. So if, you know, for some reason you can get your hands on this again, I would say do it. Or if you bought this and uh, just haven't worn it in a while, I'd say go try it out again. But anyways, I guess that's all. That's all my favorites for November. I hope that you liked this video and that maybe you got some ideas of some stuff that you want to pick up. Um, leave me a comment if you did or like the video and have a great day.